we're talking about the medical and scientific background or basis for the new hit show, The Last of Us. I'm gonna watch a clip from that. Okay, well, I'm gonna press pause because I've seen enough. <laughs> Uh, it looks amazing, very dramatic, sci-fi obviously, but let's talk about the sci part of that. The basis for this show is a fungal outbreak um, featuring the fungus cordyceps, but it is well known, um, it's not a new fungus. It has not yet infected humans, but it's, it does tend to infect insects. Fungal infections uh, affect hundreds of millions of people around the world every single year already, um, and they're responsible for about 1.7 million deaths globally every single year. Um, typically, we see fungal infections in a hospitalized patient who has a compromised immune system. They can be very, very difficult to treat. Unfortunately, in the pharmaceutical industry and world, the development, the research and development of antifungal medications uh, doesn't really get a lot of funding, doesn't really get a lot of attention. It's not one of the more glamorous organisms uh, that pharmaceutical companies are trying to develop weapons against. So as a practicing physician, I do take it seriously that um, antifungal medications, if we see a fungus that is resistant to those medications, we're in trouble because we don't have a lot of tools in our toolbox when it comes to antifungal medications. I think what's really important about this is life imitating art, art imitating life. You know, we've just come out of a pandemic or are coming into a new phase of a pandemic. Um, that if you had made a scripted show, sci-fi, 10 years ago, very easily someone could have chosen the virus SARS-CoV-2 or this novel coronavirus. Um, so is there a plausible, you know, kind of basis in reality where there could be a fungus that then spreads human to human and uh, causes mass devastation? The answer is yes. Um, just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it won't. So yes, it is scientifically possible, um, but that's where the brilliant creativity of the writers in this show um, really start their work. So loosely based on scientific reality um, and a, a very, very dramatic. Again, remember, it is fiction, so there is some license that the show can take in terms of what they show. But if you want to look up the fungus cordyceps, uh, you can start a degree in microbiology and infectious disease.